Lives in the yeah. studio alongside the T. Mayhem mania. Mayhem mania. The rules are known only to one person. That's me. Mayhem, Mayhem mania. mania. You can book almost any match that you may wish. Mayhem, Mayhem mania. mania. As long as there's no bark gun or Bobby Fish. Mayhem, Mayhem mania. Mayhem mania. Mayhem mania. Mayhem mania. Mayhem mania. Huh? That's right. The Hottest damn show on the internet, Sorgi. The hottest mic, too. Fucking <laughs> Mayhem Mania. I just try to like shout into the empty spaces around the microphone so don't blow out your ear holes. Um, I'm Matt, your favorite. Uh, joining us on the line, retired professional wrestler and noted duck <laughs> farmer, Ty Cross. Ty, can you hear me? <laughs> Those are both true. Yes, I can hear you. Excellent. That was, that was a very nice introduction. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Thanks for joining us tonight. Absolutely. Big fan. Big fan of yours. Very happy that now that I know you've retired, very excited that I at least got to see you in person at least one time. I got to personally witness nice. System Elite. So It was a very pleasant experience for me. I'm very glad that it got to happen as well. I know. It's very exciting. All right. So, Ty, tonight you made... And I'm kind of hustling through this because I'm worried your internet could give out at any moment here. Yeah, we've lost the video. Oh, we, don't, we don't have any. We video lost the video. Him. It's just an empty voice now. Yeah. Um, but tonight, Ty made a match: Andrade versus Alistair Black versus Pete Dunne. Pretty good. But <clears throat> um, you said you had a, a, a you had a one A, which was this. You had a one B, and uh, the whole world is waiting to find out what was your your backup match that you had for tonight. So my back. My no, no. match was going okay. to be it was either it was either Gallus or British Strong Style, but I think I'm gonna lean Gallus on this oh, versus Buddy Murphy and AOP. Gallus. I would have gone with British I'm Strong Style on that one. <laughs> you like Gallus? Tell me how much you tell me why you like Gallus because I, I um I I, I kind of made some jokes about him last year. Uh, when they, I just when I like coffee. Up. I, I like I like Mark Coff, Coffee and Wolfgang. I just think they're I think I like their gimmick. I like they got the best theme in the WWE right now. It's really sick. And uh, I don't know. I just like Gallus or or I said or British Strong Style, one or the other. But I think I think a, a triple threat between either of those teams and Buddy Murphy and AOP would be really good. Yeah. I, also, Edge versus Seth Rollins. Okay, that'd be nice. <laughs> I made. I made a lot of matches tonight in preparation for this. I know the, the 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 imagination really starts to swirl, especially like like when when Edge came out on Sunday. I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> the new toy is here. A lot of doors. <laughs> you know, everybody's gonna want some of this. Um, so tonight we got. Well, we'll see if this holds up. But Edge and the Edge Heads, the Major Brothers, uh, Hawkins and Ryder versus the OC. Honestly, I'll pretty give good. Credit. That's I think that's the best use of edge that somebody could have put together. Yeah, that's pretty fun. I hope I hope we get it's that really uh, that Edge Hawkins Rider backstage segment at some point. That's got to happen, right? That has to happen. I wouldn't mind seeing them get put back together as baby faces. I guess if Edge uh, finds himself outnumbered at some point, I mean he's got three years, right? So. Honestly, and I think the reason, because I like Mayhem Mania for making matches that are good and realistic, um, and that is very realistic if he's on a three-year deal to do AJ and the OC versus the Edgeheads. Yeah. Like, I really like that match a lot. <laughs> and I think, like, Edge is going to... Edge is going to... Edge is going to do matches against the guys he wants to do matches with, and uh, there were definitely some names that he was specifically mentioning, and he would definitely mention Styles, right? Yep. I mean, he was talking about. I know he was mentioning Styles. I know he mentioned Black. Um, I'm trying to think of who else he mentioned by name, guys. Matt that he Riddle. Was, Matt Riddle. I mean, yeah, that was an interesting one too. Just to like drop that one in. I'm like, okay, Edge wants to have a Matt Riddle. I think match, he said or... Seth Rollins. Yeah. Which I thought they would go Edge and Rollins when it was just a rumor and I wasn't sure. That was the match that I thought would be the money matches: Edge versus Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. Yeah, I, I'm kind of curious, like where. And poor Seth. I, I don't even think Seth has uh, has Seth found his way onto. Well, we're only into week two, but Seth hasn't found his way onto into one of the matches yet. It's kind of weird for Seth. He's gone from like a few months ago he was top babyface, and now he's like number three heel behind uh, 
well, Rock his, and heel, Randy, his right? heel transition started happening at a bad time because it happened in the build up to WrestleMania. So like, or in the build up to the Rumble. So there's because it's not really established and they didn't go all the way with it right away. Um, he's kind of stuck in that limbo right now. I mean, I like his crew. It's almost, I mean, it's begging for like an, an eight man tag at Mania to, to blow yeah. off. Like Owens and Joe have to find some buddies. Maybe it's the Viking Raiders. I don't know. It, it, it feels like that needs a little, feels like the, the parts ne- might need to be tweaked just a little bit, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I I'm having a hard time kind of seeing where this is going for Seth. At Honestly, Mania. they could carry the tag. Those two could carry the tag titles into Mania and defend the tag titles against somebody. Yeah, it's true. It's just a question of who. Yeah. We'll figure that out later. All right. Well, let me recap the rest of the matches as they are after our round we had here tonight while we have a pause here. Uh, we now have Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt versus Adam Cole. Thanks to Ron Starks for adding that one. Um, DIY versus the Time Splitters versus the Viking Raiders. Sorgatron coming in, adding uh, uh, Ray Rowe and Hansen. Those are not their names anymore, but he'll always be Ray Rowe to me. Always Sorg. be Rowe to me. Come on. <laughs> always be a Rowe to me. Cleveland, Cleveland it's Mafia. So real to me, life. damn it. Um, Andrade versus Aleister Black versus Pete Dunn, courtesy of your friend Hype Cross. Uh, Rhea Ripley versus Charlotte Flair, created by Billy Johnson. This pissed the hell out of the Honey Badger. She was all capsing us to death in the chat room, Sorg. <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't come down here and, like, kick in the door. Like, Give I, it time. I'm legitimately scared. I'm fearful now. We might have to invite her back just to kind of, like, give her a chance to make things right. Maybe next week for episode 700. Maybe. Uh, Velveteen Dream versus our truth uh, we've got the Mia Yim and Kaylee Ray versus Tegan Knox. I'm sorry, Mia Yim and Kaylee Ray and Tegan Knox versus Asuka and Kyrie Sane and Io Shirai. Sky Pirates and Walter All Caps versus Keith Lee and the OC versus uh, Edge and the Major Brothers. Uh, so I, I mean, I said it last week, Sorg. Uh, this was a relatively painless experience. This is going very smoothly again. Two straight weeks uh, where we just kind of zipping right through this. Uh, so we'll see if we can uh, hold that together. Uh, John Cena spent three minutes in space jail tonight. Uh, Tina Key sent him to happened. space jail. We spun the wheel. It landed on John Cena. John Cena broke out. John Cena cannot be sent back. No one beats John Cena. And, yeah, space yeah. jail was like a torn pack, man. He comes back from it faster than you expected. Exactly. He can't right around be, rumble time. He cannot be contained. Um, but uh, we'll give the wheel another spin next week, and we'll give someone else another chance to uh, to bust out. And uh, yeah, other than that, Sorgi, uh, who's coming on the show next week? Who do we think is going to be rolling in here? For uh, we 700 don't Club? have any official guests coming in next week uh, because we're it's the uh, 700 Club Spectacular. So okay. uh, we'll probably have some special guests for Mayhem Mania itself. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we'll have some returning. I think we're going to have some re- returning original OG Mayhemers. Oh, that'd be even better for a seven hundred. Well, I, I, I'd love to know. I'd love to see them book a match or two. So mm-hmm. that'd be exciting. Uh, we'll have to try to track down Marcus Mann because I was very interested to see what he was going to cook up. You know, well, it's yeah, always we'll interesting to still get him in actual uh, bookers booking a Mayhem Mania match is always intriguing. See, so. while getting him in still towards uh, the end of the season now. So yeah, we'll we're getting booked up. The it, it is really easy. To ask somebody, hey, do you want to be on in the next two months? It's Mayhem Mania season. Don't don't joke with me. That's not true. Have you seen the list? I've seen it the list. I just figured you booked up. You're booked up. We I didn't... even got Trey. We even got Ty Cross back. I we well, I mean Ty Cross and is he's a retired. Case. I know he doesn't have to do anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> just sit around. That's right. All right. There's all, there's, 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 there's select people kid. that will only do Wrestling Mayhem Show podcasts. And there's an even more select people that will only do it during Mayhem Mania. God bless it. Well, I'm happy to. I'm happy you said such a nice thing. Uh, we really appreciate it. And uh, Ty, we appreciate you. Um, looking forward to the comeback match in nine years when you return unannounced mm-hmm. after denying and denying and denying and denying that you were coming back. A gray beard, Ty Cross. Insisting you were never, never coming back and then coming back gray bearded Ty Cross in the best shape of his life. You thought you knew him. Yeah. In now, if years. I come back See and steal your ducks, will you come back to professional wrestling? My daughter loves professional wrestling to the point that 
it's the only thing that at two and a half months old she will lock in on and watch. Un- <clears throat> I I can't hear Sorg at all. Yeah, well, we're not talking. I That's think we're, we're losing you, yeah, but well, at that point. <laughs> At you know that what, my, point, my, what my, get you in here? Yeah, my, my youngest is the same way. Like that was one of the first things he was drawn to, and it, and it was weird because my uh, my uh, my firstborn son really didn't really care about the wrestling, so I didn't really think much would happen if I would watch it in front of my youngest. And then all of a sudden, my youngest is like, "Oh yeah, 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 yeah." Uh, so it's pretty funny now to watch him get into all yeah. sorts of stuff. Um, I'm gonna have to do the Goldberg thing and wrestle one more time in front of my kid. Yeah, you gotta wait just nine <laughs> years. Nine years. I mean, it's nothing. There you go. Right? There yeah. you go. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, Ty, thanks a lot for jumping on. We appreciate you and thanks, uh, for, thanks you for supporting uh, the show, supporting Mayhem Mania. Sorgi on the ones and twos. Uh, the disembodied voice of Ron Starks out there somewhere. Uh, Hello. Thanks a lot. Uh, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Catch up on the lore. See you next week for 700 Club. Uh, and that's it for us. Good night and stay May 10th. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.